So as you know, I work with couples and couples come to me because something is not working. There's various things that could be going on. But no matter what it is, more often than not, the couple has entered what we call negative sentiment override, meaning they are viewing their partner and their relationship from a negative lens. And when that happens, it really affects the whole relationship. Um, we start to think negative thoughts about our partner, therefore we scan kind of our environment and what our partner is doing um, and, and really look for those negative traits. You know, we've created this negative schema. So like for instance, we could in our mind think our partner is um, selfish, lazy, um, irresponsible. And, and so if we start to formulate that as kind of who we've created in our mind of who our partner is, when they do something that kind of resembles that, you know, schema, oh yeah, see, that, that fits into this narrative I created. And if they do something that is opposite of that, maybe they are generous or they are kind, um, or they do something, you know, very responsible, well, it doesn't fit what we've created, so we kind of throw that out. Um, and so it's really important uh, that we really work to reverse that and build more positive sentiment. Um, negative sentiment really happens slowly over time. Um, it's kind of like chips at it, chips at it, and all of a sudden we're in there. And so I can very often tell when I'm in that. It's when anything my husband does starts to irritate me, I know that I've started to creep into there. And I also know I can do something about it and I need to do something about it. So what I often will do is start to remember <laughs> and the reasons why we fell in love, the reasons I love him, and all of the positive, admirable qualities about him. And so I will either spend time writing in the evening, um, jotting down some things that I appreciated about him throughout the day, that I respect about him, that I love about him. Um, and so then I will start to, you know, I'll write those down and then I'll do my best to start scanning my environment for like positive things. So if he does something I find very sweet or kind, you know, the other day um, he made dinner. Um, and so just thanking him for that uh, is small, but it goes a long way. You know, I could just ignore it, but, um, but I'm not going to, right? I'm going to really find those moments of, oh, that was really, that was really sweet or catch him doing something um, very loving with our kids and, and point it out. So then I start to change what we call our habit of mind to look for, scan for more positives um, and then the negatives. So something that, you know, which is what was the motto of the Gottman method, and I love it, is called, it's just small things often. You know, what small thing, what little thing can I do today uh, to build up my partner's, you know, love, uh, love bank. That's not the right word for it. It's um, bank account. There we go. Uh, how can I put some deposits into my partner's bank account? What little thing can I do today um, that's going to be a positive interaction that is going to work on building more positivity between the two of us? Um, and it's not necessarily the easiest thing to get out of negative sentiment, and it does take time. And like with any of the tools um, that I'm going to talk about, they take energy, they take effort, and they take intention. Like, there's no way around that. You know, you have to put in the work in order for you to start to feel and see results. You can't just think, okay, I'm going to just be more positive. Like, okay, that's great, but you also have to put in the work behind that. Um, and you have, there's things that can be done. And most of the time people don't want to do the thing. And the thing is what is going to make the change. And so I encourage you to take some time, think about, am I a negative sentiment? Have I creeped into that? Am I pointing out what's going wrong versus what's going right? Am I being more critical of my partner? Um, you know, do I bring things up critically? Uh, you know, pointing out flaws, pointing out what your partner didn't do. Like that's, that's pretty much what a lot of us do instead of just, you know, leaving that be and pointing out what they have done. Um, and so if you feel like you've gotten there, then let's shift that, you know, start thinking about the positives within the relationship. There's good, 
I know there's good. We sometimes just forget that there's good because we're not looking for it. Um, so start to think about that. I'd really encourage you to write it down every night. And I also encourage you to start sharing um, those things with your partner because it's just nice to hear. You know, when, when we do that stuff with our kids, you just see them light up. And so doing the same thing for your partner um, can be really powerful. And you'll see over time, again, you can't walk into the forest, you know, 10 miles and expect to walk out in one. It's going to take some time. And it's going to take repetition and practice. And, you know, just saying one nice thing one time doesn't change um, this negative sentiment. But you can get there, um, again, with a lot of energy and effort and intention. So good luck. Um, I'm excited to hear how it went and what strategies you used. Um, if you need extra strategies, um, you can always reach out to me. I have plenty to give. All right. See ya.